I love the TV series Ted Lasso. So I've put the fictional team from the show, AFC Richmond, in Football Manager. And we're going to find out today if they can win the Premier League. We'll fast forward into the future to see if they can win a title, but we'll also keep tabs on the careers of Ted Lasso and Coach Beard, as well as the key players such as Jamie Tart, Danny Rojas and Sam Obisanya. But the question is, how good are the team? Well, the database I've downloaded hasn't been kind. All the player attributes are done randomly, so some players have turned out pretty decent, like Danny Rojas and Jamie Tart. But other key players such as Sam Obisanya have been done dirty. Sam does not look like a great player. As a result, the team are favourites to come rock bottom of the Premier League. Just like they are in season three of the show, to be fair. But can Ted and the team pull off a miracle and avoid relegation? No. Although they didn't finish rock bottom and they were only three points away from safety. They were helped along by Danny Rojas, who got 14 goals in the league and was the eighth top scorer. But poor old Jamie Tart wasn't given much of a chance. Eight starts and 14 substitute appearances led to just four goals. Given that Rojas and Tart are both strikers and two of the best players in the team, it feels bizarre that Ted didn't play a two-striker system. Looking at the formation as well, the club have made a few signings, including Alex Scott, who was revealed to be the most signed player in Foot Manager recently. So clearly Ted knows what he's doing when it comes to signing players. In fact, they added some depth to the team in a lot of areas, but it just wasn't enough to bring the team to safety. So heading into season two, it's going to be really difficult for Richmond to keep hold of some of their key players. But will they be able to bounce back? No, they didn't get back promoted. But it was a fairly successful season, coming sixth and only losing to Norwich in the playoff semi-finals. Now, despite relegation and not being able to get back promoted, Ted Lasso is still in charge of AFC Richmond. The board are giving him a chance. They believe, I suppose. Just like I believe that I'm going to get 100,000 subscribers at some point soon. Really desperate to get to that big milestone. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please feel free to do so because it really helps me out. Interestingly, Roy Kent is still at the club as a coach and Coach Beard is still at the club as the assistant manager. But they're contracts do expire in 2025 so uh, they need to get a new one this next year otherwise they're out of the club and unfortunately Richmond were not able to keep hold of their biggest names but they did get some decent money for them. Captain Isaac McAdoo has gone to Tottenham and he got a 7.22 average rating across the season which is pretty decent for a centre-back. Danny Rojas went off to PSG to become a backup player to Kylian Mbappe. Goalkeeper Tom O'Brien went off to Napoli and had a very good season only conceding 25 goals in 30 appearances and despite only signing him last season they have stole Bastoni back to Italy but to be fair from those four departures they've made over 140 million although I'm not fully convinced by the players they brought into the club to replace them João Pedro a very good striker and will get very good so I can see why he's been brought into the club but the other players down on this list I am not really that keen on there was no change in tactic this season which means that Jamie Tart was the main striker. He scored 17 goals in 46 games this season. But the club might feel let down by Wunderkid Jao Pedro as he only scored eight goals in 47 appearances. But heading into season three, things have worked out as Richmond lift the championship title to go back to the Premier League. They had an incredible start to the season and October and November couldn't have gone much better but they actually tried to really throw things away come the end of the season, having a terrible March and April, only just securing the title on the final day of the season. The top scorer of his season was Lucas Boy, who was brought in last season for 2.2 million, but this time got 13 goals in 38 appearances to be the top scorer. And I'll be honest, if he's the top scorer in the team that won the league, that doesn't really feel very good. The reason he was top scorer is because Jamie Tart went out on loan to Norwich in the Premier League, where he scored seven goals in 35 appearances. And he's going to be joining them permanently next season for 27 and a half million. So season four, back in the Premier League, can AFC Richmond hold on to their Premier League status? The answer, is just by a single point ahead of Brentford, they have just avoided relegation. Heading into the final day of the season, Richmond were in 18th place, but their win against Newcastle, thanks to a João Pedro goal, was enough to take them ahead of Brentford, who could only draw with Leeds. And as a result, Brentford slipped below Richmond to be relegated instead. Interestingly though, Ted Lasso is no longer the manager. Lasso got sacked in December 2025 for the club's poor league position. And so the new boss is Jacob Niestrup, who is the current Copenhagen manager in real life. And the squad certainly features some interesting characters. Jao Pedro plays my left wing, 
Jordan Henderson plays in the middle with Josh De Silva, and Chris Meppham finds himself at centre back. So, will Richmond be able to use their Premier League survival as a springboard to get to greater heights in the future? Well, in season five, that's not been the case. They got relegated again. Oh, it's not a good look for them, is it? Neistrup couldn't even last a year before getting sacked, and Roberto De Zebri's come in since then, but couldn't save them from relegation. Oh my word. I mean, I'm only looking at the second half of the season here, but that is abysmal. After leaving Richmond to join Norwich instead, I'm intrigued to see how Jamie Tart's been getting on. And clearly not an awful lot, because he left Norwich at some point to join Fulham, and has only played 11 games, scoring three goals. Danny Rojas now finds himself at Manchester United, after not being able to break into PSG's first team, understandably when the guy in front of him is killing Mbappe. Isaac McAdoo is almost ever present at Tottenham though since he joined the club and has gone on to make 29 caps for England. But Sam Obisanya, who was done dirty by the game with a very low current ability, has left Richmond to join QPR and then Middlesbrough. Right, this time I'm going to jump a further five years in the future to go 10 years in total to see if Richmond are an established Premier League team. The good news is they are not in the bottom three of the Premier League. The bad news is they're not there at all which is concerning. That's because they're in the championship playoff final against Preston. A game in which they went on to win 2-0 to get themselves back in the Premier League, only to get relegated again. I mean, you look at their club history, they are a yo-yo club. They are up, down, up, down, up, down all the time. So to try and cure this, I am going to try and help them out here. I've given them an individual TV deal worth £100 million per season. Think of it as Apple TV coming along and saying, here's some money that we owe you. Now I'm going to leave this simulating for a while to see if this money can help them become an established Premier League team and maybe even win the whole thing. Two thousand years later. And so jumping over 40 years in the future to 2067, let's find out if this big money has made Richmond a superstar team. The answer? No, they're 16th. Like, like what? What more could I do to help them out here? Look at this graph as well. They have become more of a yo-yo team than they actually were before. But at least the trophy cabinet is filling up with those five championship trophies. If you're interested, Ted Lasso didn't really do a whole lot after leaving Richmond. He got hired as Stokes manager before leaving them quite a while later without doing anything promotional relegation with them. And then was made the Burnley manager but was sacked two years later. It's even worse for Roy Kent and Coach Beard. After they left the club with Ted Lasso when he got sacked from Richmond, they retired from football. And this might be one of the first experiments that I've done where the team have just done absolutely terrible. But I did recently do a video where I simulated the career of Ted Lasso and those results were an awful lot better. So if you wanna see that one, check it out on the screen right now.